A NASA veteran has just revealed something that is truly mind-blowing. Propellantless propulsion. I'm not talking about electric propulsion. I'm talking about propulsion that doesn't require an energy source. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Sounds crazy, but this is actually a true uh, legitimate story here, guys. Dr. Charles Bueller, a seasoned NASA engineer and co-founder of Exodus Propulsion Technologies, says his company's propellantless propulsion drive defies the laws of physics. So you're, I'm probably going to get some emails from people here saying, you shouldn't have made that video because, you know, I often do. However, the NASA veteran who is well respected within the engineering community states the propulsion drive is capable of generating enough thrust to counteract Earth's gravity without expelling mass. It's, of course, a very bold claim. And this may end up being filed alongside similar controversial claims like the propellant-free M drive. However, it might not. Bueller's history as NASA's subject matter expert on electrostatics has forced people to pay attention. This guy is well respected in the industry and he says that his team set out to explore propellantless propulsion concepts more than two decades ago their propulsion drive is based on a new approach that takes advantage of asymmetry in electrostatic pressure to propel the drive forward the team presented their drive concept at a recent alternative propulsion energy conference called apec there, Bueller detailed the team's progress over the last few years. From 2016 to 2020, the team's best devices were producing a little over one hundred thousandth of a gravity. Ultimately, though, they set out to achieve unity, said Bueller. The debrief in a recent interview mentioned this unity concept and how this is actually capable of providing limitless energy. Unity refers to the moment the drive produces enough thrust to lift itself in Earth's gravity. As with similar projects like the M drive, Butler and his team have worked exhaustively to eliminate any alternative explanation for the tiny, though measurable, force they were seeing in experiments. So initially they were just seeing tiny little bits of force being created, but they knew that they could actually um, refine the engineering in order to allow for more energy. In 2023, Bueller said the propellantless drive finally reached one full Earth gravity. He and his team claim that their propulsion system has demonstrated the ability to exert a force equivalent to Earth's gravity without emitting mass via propellant. Essentially, they believe they have discovered a new force that was previously unknown to humankind. If this is in fact true, it's absolutely game-changing. We don't know for sure yet, but it sounds like it could be. The discovery of a new force is fundamental in that electric fields alone can generate a sustainable force onto an object and allow center of mass translation of said object without expelling mass, said Bueller to the debrief. There are rules that include conservation of energy, but if done correctly, one can generate forces unlike anything humankind has done before. It will be this force that we will use to propel objects for the next 1,000 years until the next thing comes. So, is this the real deal? Is this company going to really make this product? If Bueller and his team's claims are true, Interesting Engineering says that their propulsion-free experiments would undoubtedly constitute a massive breakthrough. A propellant-free system would massively drive down costs, enable far-reaching missions into outer space by NASA, and revolutionize spaceflight completely, and possibly even uh, vehicles as well. So why has the news broken with such little fanfare? Well, Interesting Engineering says it's because we have been here before. Proponents of the M drive and Ivo LTD's quantum drive have made similar claims in the past. Neither of these has so far provided tangible results in space. In his interview with The Debrief, Bueller claims that his team's drive is a result of rigorous experimentation and tangible results. Bueller's history also lends massive credibility to this project. He has worked in programs such as NASA's Space Shuttle, the International Space Station, the ISS, and the Hubble Telescope. Still, Exodus Propulsion Technologies' massive claim 
will probably be met with skepticism until it is able to demonstrate its technology in space. Until then, let's hope it's real. Because this kind of makes me think of something like Star Trek. And don't we all love a little bit of Star Trek? Thanks for watching.